We're back at Lakeside Lanes for the second string of these two first round matches in the Women's Pro Series playoffs. Right now, Karen Dume and Judy Bowden are back up for their first half of the second string. As you'll recall, in the first string of this match, Judy Bowden had a 111 and Karen Dume had 97. So Judy is up by 14 pins coming into this second string, second and final string. And there's a spare by Karen Dume. That will make up some ground against a um, nine box by Judy Bowden. So Karen has cut one pin off the 14 pin lead and she'll cut it further with the fill ball. And it's going to be a five drop, kind of a thin quarter hit by Karen Dume. She drops five, so she's reduced Judy Bowden's lead to eight pins through one box of the second string. Judy is open and she'll have an eight box. She kind of looked like she got a little stuck at the line there. <coughs> Dropped the ball a little bit. And Karen picks up another pin. She's cut the lead in half, so Judy still leads by seven. And Judy kind of dropped that ball as well. It looks like she's still having a little bit of trouble with a spot on the approach. And a nice try by Judy. She came in very light on the head pin, kicked it off, off the wall, and got everything but the seven. And Karen Dume had a nice piece of wood there that might have enabled her to convert that 2-4-10, but she didn't catch the two pin, so she'll be open as well. And she'll take a seven against a nine by Judy Bowden, so it's... Karen Dume has 31 through 3, Judy has 26, so it's a 9-pin lead for Judy. And Judy throws a nice ball in the pocket, but she leaves the 5-10, and it looks like that piece of wood is just going to roll off, so she's got no help at all. She's going to just have to cut the 5-pin straight over into the 10, and that's pretty tough to do. Karen Dume with a 5-drop, and she makes a nice try but that 8-pin doesn't want to go. Judy will have... Judy Bowden has an 8-box. And Karen Dume waiting for that pin to stop spinning. It's going around and around and around. Where it stops, nobody knows. And it finally comes to rest. Let's see if she can push it back into the 8-pin. <coughs> and no, it was a pretty tough piece of wood. Karen Dume has 40 through 4, Judy Bowden 34. So Judy has an 8 pin lead. And Judy also has a, uh, a nice spare leave here. It's the 1, 3, 9 with some wood behind the 1 and 3 that should help her make it. And she does make it. <coughs> nice hit on the head pin. Pushed it back into the 3 and 9. And Karen with a good try on that big 5 but she will be open in the fifth. And she'll have an eight. So Karen Dume has 48 through five, Judy Bowden 44 with the ball working. So Judy is up 10 plus the spare fill. And that brings up Kim Kangas and Maria Mazzarella for their first half of the second string. Maria Mazzarella is up by eight pins after one, having recorded a 113 to Kim, Kim Kangas' 105 in the first. And both bowlers pushing the head pin straight back, leaving difficult leaves, and they're both going to be open in the first. Maria Mazzarella will take a seven, and let's see what Kim Kangas can do with this combination. She's going to take an 8 box. 
Santa Maria is still leading by seven. And kind of a thin hit. She takes out the two, five, and eight, three drop. Kim Kangas, again, very full on the head pin, and, and again she drops five. This is a little bit more makeable than the last one she had, but it's not easy. It's the two, four, six, nine, ten. And is that going to go? It does. That is a great shot by Kim Kangas. Having a closer look at it in slow-mo, you can see that she hits the left side of the two pretty full and she knocks the two back into the nine which tips over into the ten and then comes back towards Kim and takes out the six that's really an excellent spare very difficult shot Maria Mazzarella works it out for a nine so she's got sixteen after two and Kim Kangas with eighteen plus a ball and Maria goes out on the left quarter, but gets uh, an eight drop, leaving the one and eight. Difficult spare. Kim Kang is with eight. So she has taken the lead by two pins. She's got 26 to 16. And a nice shot by Maria Mazzarella. You can see what she does with it. She hits the head pin pretty full, and the ball carries through and takes both pins. Goes back and gets the eight. Nice shot by Maria Mazzarella. Let's see what Kim can do with this 4-10. And that was a nice bid. She tried to get the ball to go over and get the 4 while the wood took out the 10, but it was probably in just a little bit too deep to do that. And I think the ball went behind the 4. <clears throat> That'll be a, um, a 9 for Kim Kangas in the 3rd. She's got 35 to... Uh, 26 with a ball for Maria Mazzarella. And Maria hits, again, very full on the head pin, drops five. That gives her 31. And that means that she is once again up by four pins, because she's down by four in this string, but she was up eight coming in. And Maria with a nice try, but that's a really tough spare. Kim Kang is looking at I think that's the three pin. And she just goes by on the right side. So that was an opportunity missed there for Kim Kangas. But she'll try and pick up a couple of pins if she can convert the ten, the, uh, the three for a ten box. And she does. So she picks up two. So Maria Mazzarella now leads by two. She's down by six in this string. And Maria leaves the four horsemen left side in the fifth box. Kim Kangas comes solid in the one-two pocket. Drops nine, leaving the seven pin. A couple pieces of wood in front of it at an angle, and I think they're fairly far out in front. Looks pretty good, but... There is uh, quite a distance between the wood and that seven pin. Let's see if, and is it going to go? Yes, it does, but just barely. That was the uh, the issue there. Was that the there was the wood was way out in front, so she kind of had to push it back. Anyway, it goes. And take a look at the scoreboard. You can see that uh, Judy Bowden is leading by ten plus the spare fill through five, and. Um, Kim Kangas and Maria Mazzarella are very close. Um, it's just a, um, a one-pin lead for Maria, and, and uh, Kim Kangas has a spare working, so she'll undoubtedly take the lead when she gets back up. So now Judy Bowden and Karen Dumay come back up on the, um, on the opposite lanes from where they were. Uh, Karen moves over to lane 10, and Judy is on lane 9. <coughs> Judy dropped 4 on that spare. So it's a tie game in the uh, second string, but Judy had a 14-pin lead coming in, so she still leads the match by 14. And each bowler records.